pretty good for a small car and 40 year old smart small car I mean I wasn't pushing it but uh, it didn't uh, lean any or uh, it didn't it was very flat smooth Three days 
$20,000 to boot. Well, I've got it. Oh, I know. Well, you got it, you got to spend it. That's right. Because when I croak, that government in Victoria has bled me to death with taxes, and yeah. I'm not getting one shitting dime when they put me in the Right on. Spend it. And you're going to make sure that. I did it. I did it. Well, you heard about the guy. Pujo is a piece of shit. Now, how come they win the Dakar rally? They win every year. They can get Pujo. They changed their oh, yeah. over the time. Yeah. Yeah. This one is good. You're hard pressed to find someone who can crawl. How many autocross guys are there, Bruce? Our top guy is about 30 a night. Yeah, so you're looking at about 65. The other guy, you ran before you raced autocross. You know, there is decent yeah. to call it. Four cylinder engine has a, a, a bad yeah. vibration. Yeah. It's called a rolling couple. Uh -huh. And just at the point where it makes the most horsepower is yeah. where the worst vibration is. So, so they have a limited lifetime. Eventually, at some point, the cranks can break. And so the, the trick that, is that is nasty. The trick is to uh, it, it, figure out when it's about to happen. It 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 yeah, exactly. And we we had one guy, one one of our racers. Uh, he won the race. I mean, he crossed the finish line, shut it off, which is, was unusual. He was just it sort of broke on an angle, and so there was just enough, you know. Just Tom Wimpress. This is a 1970 Lotus Elan Plus Two S. A lot of name for a small car. Yeah. It, no, well, it, it's no, it's never been overboard, but it's got big valves. Uh, puts on 130 horsepower. It's been on a dyno. It's a, a true 130 horsepower engine. It was bought brand new in 1970 by my brother, and I bought it from '74. So I have all the original, the original order delivery documents, all the service documents, everything for. 1970. That would be in Vancouver. No, in Ottawa. Ottawa. Yeah. And. Uh, so it's it's never been restored. It's only been maintained. That the end. It was repainted because a lady ran into me, said she didn't see me. I stopped at a stoplight and she piled in the back. Of me. They had to cut it off, just basically over the back wheels, and put on what's called a rear clip, mm -hmm. fiberglass, a new, new whole new rear end on it. And so when they did that, I, I sprung and had the rest of it painted just to make it match. So the, but the paint job is uh, 25 years old. What kind of driving do you do with it? Do you... uh, last year I put on 2,000 miles. Just, it's just a toy. Um, it's not real practical. It's warm. You don't race it or anything? I, I've taken it track days uh, several times. I, 
I lived in the U.S. for eight years and uh, fairly close to a, a road racing track. And our Lotus Club would uh, rent the track maybe three times a year, so we'd go out and just blast around. So I'd, it's been on the track, but never, never actively raced. It's always been just, just a toy. I was going to turn it over to him, so I told him about it's got a four-speed transmission with a dog tail reverse and square cut gears, so you got a double clutch. And he said, yeah, double clutch. I said, do you have any questions, Pat? He said, yeah, what's a clutch? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> oh, so we, we backed up a little bit on that list. <laughs> That's too funny. Crank on the front still. And, uh, well, this one had a crank on the front. It did. I, I had to replace it. 69,000. That's it? Yeah. Original. We're, we're the second registered owners. And what year is it? 57. The original owner died at 104, and she was 98 or 9 when I bought the car. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> it's been in the shop for a long time. C come take a look at the back. Okay. See what Lad Motors. I've got the license plate. And this is stock color. It's a stock color. It, this car was originally a military green car. Really? And I thought, I don't want that. No. I bought a Arctic blue Volkswagen. Oh, did you? <laughs> White paint with a drop of blue. Nice. We got, I shipped it back and I got taxed over here. Oh, yes, yes. But. Uh, I've got a cheat sheet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the Avro because I, uh, back in the 1970s, uh, checkered flag imports in Vancouver was selling them. Okay. And I went down a couple of times and t yeah. test drove them, but uh, at that time they were 7500 bucks for the JPS special. Wow. Yeah. So, Paid a little more than that for this one. <laughs> yeah, it was beautifully was, restored. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I don't think that's never been restored. It's never been no, restored. No, I think it was painted once uh, before I got it. Um, I'm the third owner. Okay, introduce yourself and let's start. Hi, my name's Lee. <laughs> Hi, Lee. <laughs> and you're the proud owner of a uh, Lotus Europa uh, Twin Cam Special. It's uh, oh, it's two thousand eight hundred and seventy-eight out of three hundred and or 3,130 that were built of the specials. Right. Um, it was built in August of 72. Um, it's registered as a 74 because as they sold the last of them off, they would, whatever year you bought it in, that's what it would be registered in. So this is a 74, but it was built in 72. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Um, I'm the third owner. It, uh, is that a British Columbia car? It's a BC car. I bought it in North Vancouver four and a half years ago. Uh, How many miles are on? 35,000. Wow. So That's not a lot. Baby. Not a lot, no. I uh, did a lot of autocrossing, I believe, before I got it. The guy that had it before me, um, I think he took uh, pretty good care of it. It's in pretty good shape now, and I haven't really done much. I've done some performance tuning to it, uh, headers, and uh, stuff like that. You know they're just over 42 inches high on the roof? That's right. Uh, second only to the Ferrari Dino. And the GT40. The GT40, 40 inches. Yeah, yeah. 40 inches for yeah. the GT40, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 fantastic. Yeah. And I uh, love driving it in the you, Okanagan. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw you on when the Knox Mountain Hill climb was up. Yep. We were up on the mountain top okay. and yep. I saw it going down in the streets there and I, I zoomed <laughs> right in onto it. It's, 
They are fantastic. Well, actually, I saw you at Knox Mountain Hill Climb too with your video camera. <laughs> we, were, we were standing at the starting line on the same side of the fence. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to fire her up? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go home pretty soon. So oh. uh, I guess I'm going home now. <laughs> My wife's almost gone. Yeah, so, we've yeah. come to pick up Bill's car. Oh, so. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. But I love these things. There, I've told Cindy about them so many times. I look them up on eBay constantly to see when they come up. Yeah. Because uh, if I ever am in a position to have a toy that yeah. only comes out, <laughs> there's nothing like it. it. It's the handling is just turn the wheel. Yeah. Just. Oh yeah. yeah. Don't turn it very much. Yeah. But I don't know if at my age now it'd be easy to get in and out of as it was when I was young. <laughs> you should have been here earlier because we could have used your camera. I had half a dozen people trying to get in and out and. Some were backing in and some were backing out and some were flopping out and crawling on their hands and knees. It was quite a show and we had a really good time. There was a lot of laughs. She's funny. A lot of laughs, yeah. Can I open the door? Yeah, sure. Look, look at the, look how low it is, Cindy. Holy cow, eh? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to ask you don't lean on the door. Yeah. Okay. The hinges are kind of weak. That's how you get into that baby. That's wow. it. Wow, this is like a go kart, and I, it steers like that too. I would it think. Steers like a go kart. Yeah. Holy cow! Deadly accurate. Look at how little that is. And it's comfortable. Yeah. When the you get it set up, uh, the seats don't recline. They don't have to. Wow. In seventy. Side forward and back. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. In '73, I was reading the road and track, and they were testing the Camaros. Right. And at that time, they had like the 354 speed Lotus Europa. Couldn't, they couldn't keep up with a Lotus on a windy road. No. It was just, That's right. it yeah. doesn't matter how much V8 horsepower you got, when you get onto a windy road, these things are gone. Yeah, it only weighs, check my sheet 1600 here. 1,600 pounds, something like 1600 that? 1,600 pounds, yeah, 1,631 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, my daughter and I took this thing on, on the scales, and this one weighs 1,470. No so I've taken yeah. some weight off of it, and shaved a little bit. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's good to be out. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, John. no, no problem. He's actually over bills all the time. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Colin Chapman. Yeah. Colin, Bruce, Anthony Chapman. Well, I'm not sure I got the order right, but. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I put bigger tires on it, fancier wheels. It didn't. It only had the steel wheels when I got it. Well, actually, I got a set of steel wheels and a set of mags with it, too. But, but uh, they were 13 inch, and uh, 13 inch tires are good. Performance tires, you can't find them anymore. Beautiful cars. Thank you. Thank you for talking about it. Yeah, Thank no you. problem. Nice meeting you, Joe. Maybe one day, if you're you out, you can take us for a ride and I can film it. Sure. That will be done? Yeah. There's a little camera mount right here. <laughs> right here. Wow. Uh -huh. Was that stock? No, no. I, made, no. <laughs> I made it. In the yeah. So, <laughs> do you ever take it slaloming when the British? Uh, I haven't. No, but huh? I thought about it, but not yet. You take everything. No everything. way. You got, a, got one this year. Too. Cool. <laughs> okay, thank There's you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. How did you feel the sign? Oh, nice. The seat was too tipped back for me, though, yeah. to be driving. That sounds nice. Yeah, considering, considering it just, I just started it. Yeah, you don't want to shut it down, eh? No, the battery thing.